Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'll do it this part, but I'm doing it last. <laughs> I've also got six purple coins to wander around and look for and stuff like that, so I'll get those this part too, hopefully. But <laughs> I will do my best to look around. Very difficult to remember where every little giblet is in the game, so... Uh, oh yeah, I think that there's actually a moon at the bottom of this hole or something. Yeah. <laughs> How could I have forgotten about that? Well, that's why I got the hint so because I was like, uh, oh! I just, well, I seen a little bit of dialogue there. What the waves left behind? Yeah, that must have been one of those hard to find the dealio things that give you the extra bit of dialogue. That's, yeah. yeah well,. You could see all of it on the screen for that brief second, but maybe not long enough for me to be able to read it. <laughs> Alright, so something below here. Something, something. Something, maybe in this little crevice. Oh, 8 bit. Oh, I see. How did I miss the little crevice? Okay, hit that. Go in here. Run through here quickly! And I mean quickly! Ooh, ee, ooh, ooh. I got it. <laughs> Seaside Kingdom Timer Challenge 1! Yeah, there's a 1! Can you believe it? <laughs> it's been a while since I got the first one last and something, but... <laughs> Okie dokie, that is good. Uh, wait, actually, come to think of it, if I wasn't down here before... Did I miss anything else down here? Like this this little crevice here that I didn't... Yeah, see this right here? I wonder if there's something else around this area that I didn't get, like purple coins or something like that. Because yeah, I definitely passed through here before, as you can see. And I need some air, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, I, I guess there isn't, but... Who knows, maybe I'm not being thorough enough. Just going from location to location. Uh, I guess it's not that big of a warp to warp there, but eh, mm, a warp is a warp. But I guess it's saving time and whatnot. And it was over to the left, right, right. Yeah, I'll just keep zigzagging along this direction. Oh, it was all the way on. Yeah, those sand piles. Yeah, I forgot about this one. You go to the sand piles. The middle one has the moon. Gotta go down, and at least, wait, I thought it, I thought the middle one had the moon, or, or do I have to ground pound all these, oh yeah, ground pound all these, and then it appears in the middle, okay, everyone, everyone out, everyone out of your homes, <laughs> there, you gotta just clear the way here, and, oh, whoa, whoa, one more, huh, okay, fine, fine, I'll get air. If you're that, if they're that demanding for air, Mario. <laughs> Just, you know, who needs that air? It's crazy, crazy, I'd say. Ah. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'll keep killing you guys. I'll eventually get all you guys. At least I think I gotta kill all you guys. I'm pretty sure I do. Ah, right, come on now. Uh huh. You guys are gonna run out eventually, right? I'm pretty sure you do. <laughs> Or did I activate all the sensors? Nah, probably not. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it has something to do with this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not that the water is that much more dangerous. Maybe I should get a fish for this, actually. <laughs> because that, that might... Because, you know, you can do a little of a little bit of an attack with a fish. Yeah. I don't know. Ooh. They just keep going. They keep going. <laughs> Maybe this isn't what I'm supposed to do? I don't know. Oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Did I miss ground pounding this? Somehow? I don't... Maybe I did. <laughs> Can I, like, just, like, ground pound? Yeah, I could do that, too, I suppose. <laughs> Never tried that before. That might be a little bit safer for the air supplies, but... Yeah, where is the... Ah, lost my health upgrade. But yeah, I guess maybe it wasn't how I thought it went? Oh, no, it... You ground pound all three locations and then the middle? I guess? 
and then they just it's the thing about that they just keep coming at you and that's the the gimmick of it i guess so maybe i didn't remember exactly how it went but i did remember you ground pound in the middle that's something <laughs> uh, no wait not in the wrong direction this way right oh yeah I, I think there is actually another moon down here well now there is at least right yeah it seems about plausible <laughs> As we learn, we don't need a fish to come down here because we're going to get a fish as soon as we get down here anyway and we're just going to despawn the fish anyway, so let's see what we're missing here. Let's grab a fish and look around in this beautiful underwater tunnel once again, but in all directions, <laughs> you never know, it's like those purple coins that you've seen in some places, yeah, oh wait, 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 wait. hold on, hold on. Hello. I guess that's what I missed. Looking back in the dark waterway. Yay! Can I just wait? wait just let the text fade out fancily. Okay, now can I warp out of here? <laughs> guess I can. And what might I be missing over on um, one of these tiny islands? Is there something I could do with the moon snakes? Probably not. Let's say it's like right, let's say right directly over here or something like that. Uh, at least it. Hey, there's a rumble going on here, but I think it's the moon snakes themselves. Okay, maybe it's something underneath, and I didn't go down a particular crevice. Oh, a hat door? Didn't I go in? Didn't I go in this before? Apparently, I did not. Oh, I see. I gotta stun that, and then I gotta ground pound that while it's stunned. There we go. <laughs> Wiggling on the sandy bottom. And I think you can get air if you just go, yeah, if you really need to. But there's other bubbles here. I wonder if there's other prizes to be... Oh, just bubbles if you ground pound the bubbles. Who would have guessed? <laughs> uh... I guess that's it then? Here? Probably... I think... Yeah, we're, we're getting closer! Oh, we're getting closer... Oh. Not now, we're not, we're not doing that now though. We're, we'll get to it! <laughs> we'll go... Oh. I'm feeling nauseated already. Wait, I feel... I think that was just me splashing around there, but I felt something... around. Or is, where do I need a gushing to? Surely it isn't up this way, is it? No. Because I already thought you got all that there. Uh, I'm just not seeing something because of my screen's brightness that I still haven't adjusted. Hmm. Hmm. Let me get to the surface and go in first person here. Ah! You can <laughs> Cannot first person there. How about over here? Okay. Gushing straight up. What? Is there something underwater that I'm not seeing? That I forgot over here? That's around this dealio? Because it's like... Well, maybe it's not where I thought it was. Uh, yeah, it's in the opposite direction, so it's more like this way then? No, not quite that way. Oh, to wrong direction again. Uh, no, I need air. Pardon me. Maybe I should just get a fish. Just so I can zone in on it a little bit easier here. I don't have to worry about continually going to the surface and whatnot. Uh, okay. So... Wait, is it? Is it on the move? Or is it? No. It's me that's on the move. <laughs> At least I think it's me that's on the move. Is it on land? It's not. I guess, yeah, I think it's... It's gotta be on land, but it's not like... No, it's not. Is it up... There? Like, I, I did get the painting... To go up on that ledge before, didn't I? I could have swore I did. 
You know, to get up there? Hmm. I might not have. Well, that's, uh... That's a stinky development. Hold on! Basically, I need to go back to the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> you remember that... Um... Little painting over near the start? Like, where the sheep was? Yeah, I guess I never went down it. <laughs> yeah, it was one of those things where I was like, Ah, I've got to save that for later when I'm ready to... Oh, I guess maybe I didn't? Because I'm pretty sure that was the painting that led to... The... A bubbling dealio. Yeah, you could actually see it at the trees over there. The bottom left corner of the screen. Well, mostly bottom left corner of the screen. <laughs> now, but the question is, did I go under, or did I go through that, or did I not? I mean, what we do, that's not the right direction. It's this way. There we go. All right. See here. Isn't this? Oh, no, this isn't the. Uh... No, this is not correct. I because I don't think this is yeah, this is the icy world. <laughs> Snow Kingdom. Hmm. Now which one had the had the I could have swore that the Mushroom Kingdom was the one that had the painting to the Seaside Kingdom. Okay, I had to look this up because I thought it was going cuckoo. Basically, if you go, like, if you go through the Snow Kingdom before the Seaside Kingdom, or vice versa in playthroughs, the paintings for the Bowser's, for Bowser's Kingdom and Mushroom Kingdom get reversed. Like, they lead to different locations. So the one at the Mushroom Kingdom led to the Seaside Kingdom on a different playthrough that I had. But since I... yeah, because I, I must have did a different order this playthrough. And then what happened was... yeah, the paintings got swapped around. I still haven't went to the painting over at Bowser's Kingdom. Ha! Huh. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. I didn't know that that was actually a thing. Alright, so I'm looking for the painting that was over here somewhere, right, right, yeah, there it is! Oh! Yeah, this wasn't active before, was it? When I came through here the first time? Oh, I see, I betcha that also reverses the paintings of the other places if you, if you reverse the the order that you go and do things as well? Because you remember there was another choice back there too. Very interesting! Secret Path of Bubbling. I also got this checkpoint now. That checkpoint... I mean this checkpoint isn't, isn't quite as useful as that checkpoint over there I would say, but... Huh! Very neat little fun fact I learned. Alright, so... So volleyball here. Basically, you got one bounce after it hits the ground before it's considered a miss, and then they're like, "Get get off the court so we can reset this thing." Because if you're standing on here and you do the miss, they get off the court. We gotta reset, and then it just poofs out of existence. Well, for the first one, you gotta volley it 15 times. All right, so let's volley it 15 times. Now, the typical way that people do this is. They just throw their hat at it, or they jump at it like so, but eventually it gets so fast that you cannot actually keep up with it by running around towards it and jumping at it like so. So, what you typically have to do is you gotta start throwing your hat at it. But, besides that, there's a bit of an easier way to do that. I'm just gonna show you that method for the actual harder one of a, like a, a hundred or something like that. I don't remember how many you need to do it. And what I'm going to do here is just get up to the regular moon using this method. Because it's, it's simple enough doing it th this way with this method. But the other method, I would say, is a whole lot harder. I mean, this method is a whole lot harder to do when you're trying to get the actual harder of the two moons. See, I got that one now. 
if the ball's coming in too fast, you can throw me to return it. But yeah, eventually it's going to be so hard to get this sucker, even with the one bounce on the ground, the uh, little play of extra time there, that I probably won't be able to do it this way. So I'm going to have to switch to a... Oh! I'm going to have to switch to a little two-player tactic by switching to the game's two-player mode and then using the special move of two-player Cappy to just move around Cappy along the playfield and whatnot and see how things roll. But yeah, as you can see, I'm not, not doing too bad this method, but chances are I'm going to mess up eventually because this is not the easiest thing to keep up with, even with... Uh, a very good hat throw technique because yeah you gotta be watching the shadow watching where it lands you can't let it land for too long etc etc and oh that actually was almost the game over there because it, 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 it also bounces on the ground after the first bounce a little bit faster on subsequent ooh, on subsequent uh, volleys I guess you could say because it's it's a little bit on the like, it, it gets faster in every way, basically, not just- Oh! See what I mean? You're pretty good, Volley Bro. Thank you, thank you, but that's not all. We gotta do the harder one here, and unfortunately I could not do it in one full shot like I did uh, with the- yeah, it is a hundred times. But yeah, like, I, I couldn't quite do it as simple, I guess you could say, as when I did the- um, jump rope challenge? Well, well, here we go. So this is how it's done. You go into two players. Uh-huh. Start in two player mode. It's gonna do a little... Uh, oh yeah, I gotta switch the controllers to the sideways dealio. I'm, I'm doing one player... A uh, two-player here. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta remember how this works. All, but now you see while you're in two-player, Cappy is now floating above your head. Well, if you throw your Cappy like so, and then you use the analog stick of the second player, you can control thusly without having to press or hold any other buttons. So what we gotta do here is sort of like manipulate this here. Gotta get. Mario in place and and then we get Mario off the court so we can then control with just Cappy like so and hope for the best <laughs> I know I know it's gonna be ugly but this is this is probably the best method that I found on how to do this is to use a second player to do this because Cappy is so much faster than Mario is and you don't have to worry about perfect throws, you can kind of zigzag around an area to get over to the volleyball when need be. And what, what makes this one especially painful is that it takes so long to get up to speed, and then when it gets up to speed, it's hard to keep up even with using Cappy like this. So you not only you either have to have perfect cap throws when you're playing as one player, or virtually perfect movement when you're playing as just Cappy solo here. But yeah, just make sure you move Mario off the court completely, just so that Mario doesn't get in the way, and then you just do the rest of this with Cappy. Hopefully. <laughs> I will probably need full concentration when it gets up to a, a certain faster speed, but I will do my best to commentate through it. Hopefully get this this run because even with Cappy it's not a guaranteed thing because while you have pretty pretty swift moving here with the analog stick it's still still pretty difficult once it gets up to a certain speed so we're gonna we're gonna try our best to get this to a hundred like it's we're only at 32 and jump rope felt a lot faster than this at this point, if I recall correctly, because, yeah. So it's it's not only a game of precise movement or precise throwing, it's also a game of pure patience. It will test... oh jeez, it will test your sanity, it will test your nerves, it will test your everything. Oh shoot! It bounced me in... ah, uh, it bumped me into Mario. And I lost my volley! <sighs> and thus we start all over again from the beginning. Isn't that fun? Yeah, so fun. Oops. 
<laughs> I was doing it one hand, and I don't have, I don't have my full grasp on things here. Okay, get Mario further off the court this time. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I actually need Mario closer, don't we? Oh, okay. I guess we do need Mario a little bit closer here. Oh, jeez. Okay, get Cappy separated here. Get Mario on the court. Not too far off the court, I guess. Here we go. There we go. And we get back over to Cappy and hopefully not get bounced into Mario this time. <sighs> That's part of why this one sucks so much too, I suppose. Because if you get... Well, I, gu I guess it wouldn't be as bad if you were actually in two-player. Because you'd, you'd automatically be thrown back over there, like, by your teammates' teamwork, but for the sake of maximum control, I put down the other controller, just so that I have a regular, relaxed grip on it, and I'm not just, like, trying to hold it and analog stick it with one hand or something like that. Well, yeah. Oh, jeez, please don't bump me into Mario again. That would be totally sucky. I wonder if I can get Mario, like, at an even better spot than he is right now. I don't know. Maybe I should just hope for the best. <laughs> but yeah, as I said before, this one is utterly horrible to do. In every way you can imagine. You could be bumped into Mario. You could m mess up and not touch the beach ball. <sighs> but it is possible to do. I assure you, it's possible to do. Just uh, don't ever lose concentration. For a whopping 100 volleys, Jesus Arceus, that was close to being bumped into Mario again. Yeah, I wonder if there's a better place that I can stick Mario, that I don't have to worry about Cappy getting bumped into him, like if the ball goes too close to that corner or something. I mean, yes, I can deflect the ball using a different angle than that would bounce me into Mario, but that's, oh, that's extra thought that <laughs> you don't want to put too much thought into this if you can help it. Because the more you overthink things in something like this, the worse off it is. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, so we're almost at the halfway point. And it's gonna keep getting faster. Uh-huh. Keeps getting faster. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was a little bit, little bit too far for my liking there. And yes, the, uh... The bounces are random, as far as I'm aware, so there's no actual way to, like, know where it's going. You just gotta kind of react to it, which which would make throwing your cap at things that much harder. Because you've seen how you can easily miss things while throwing your cap at things. But just imagine that when it's faster like this, and yeah... And also, it's, it's still not that easy even when you're moving freely like this. Like, this is still not... <laughs> this, is, this still makes me sweat. <laughs> because you, you can tell I'm just kind of like barely getting there uh, as I'm reacting to things. But things are, things are going okay. We might actually have this. And you can, you can clearly see why I did not want to do this at all again. But here I am doing it again. <laughs> and hopefully I'll never do it again. But no, no, I'm probably gonna decide to 100% this game again in the future. Because I love this game. And there's only a few bad hiccups in this, <laughs> this game like this that can sour the experience at times. But, okay, 12 more to go. We're just gonna do this. We're not gonna mess up. <laughs> We're not. Oh, jeez! Please don't, don't. Please don't hit that corner. I beg of you not to go to that corner, if you can help it. Oh, oh, jeez! That was almost a loss. If I wouldn't have got there quick enough, because that it would have double bounced really quickly. Yes! Ah! Ah! Hate this volleyball game. <laughs> I wonder how far, oh jeez, I wonder how far I can take it though, in all honesty. Uh, I wonder if the world record for this is actually legit this time though. Oh jeez, actually maybe no, I couldn't have been. Because there's like physics hacks, like I mentioned before with the, uh, um, the Koopa races, and that people use them to move around faster and stuff like that. Oh, oh, oh! So yeah, it's, uh, it's very... I guess it's very easy to cheat the leaderboards, so I guess you'd have to look, like, 
to the actual online leaderboards or people who are tracking this in a legit fashion. And yeah, now that I've reached 100, I guess it's... I, I don't know, I guess there's less pressure on me, if that makes sense. I guess maybe if I was going for the world record, I would be uh, a lot more nervous getting up to the number or something like that, but... Yeah, I can't, I can't imagine someone actually playing this to get the maximum score, if there is a maximum score on the board too, so maybe... Uh, someone created a bot program that was able to automatically watch the shadow of it or something like that or whatnot. I don't know. But yeah, it looks like I've, I've got the hang of this relatively easily now, I, I guess. But yeah. And so I, even though I'm technically playing this, and I guess you could say two player, I still am doing this all myself. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. God, can't, can't lose concentration if you want to get decent score out of this, I guess. Oh, don't bounce out of the range. You want to, like, always center yourself. That's another thing, I guess. And... Ooh, I actually almost missed that, because I was a little bit far ahead of it, but I, I the hitbox of Cappy there was in a decent spot, and it still deflected it. And... Whoa! And, whoa, and it goes way over from one side to the other, and you aren't in a position that can be a little bit of a run wrecker, so that's why you want to get back to the center. It's sort of kind of like strategy of playing tennis in a way, and that you always want to be in a position that you can run to the ball fast enough. <laughs> Whatever you, if you're trick led to one side by the opponent, and you don't get back to the center quick enough, well, that's when the opponent scores, you know, so. Yeah, anyway. It's, uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I was gonna say, I'm gonna. Oh, oh, oh I almost got Mario there. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, this is this probably gonna end. So, oh, geez, soon enough. Because, and yeah, um, oh, Cappy is a very quick to control character. Like, it's very, very speedy when you're moving the analog stick. There's a little bit of an acceleration to it. But once you get past that acceleration, he, he, he just goes! <laughs> Reach 200, that's more impressive than I, th <laughs> I thought I would have, actually. I wonder if I should, ooh, I wonder if I should, like, keep going as far as I can go here. And then I can have my own personal best on video or something like that. Ooh, who knows, I don't know. This, it's, I don't know, it's so low-paced. And it's, it's kind of boring after a while, too. <laughs> I guess even the jump rope will get boring after a while, even after you get... Whoa! Even after you get used to the speed changes and whatnot. But then again, the speed changes in the jump rope would actually make it more interesting than this, in a way, because there is more variables to it that you got to watch out for. Like, we haven't had any speed changes to the volleyball now after... I think it hit 50 or something like that, was it? I wasn't really paying that much attention so much as I was just paying attention to surviving as long as I needed to get to that moon at 100. And now I'm uh, doubling that somehow. <laughs> I don't know how I'm managing that, but somehow, some way, things are rolling okay. And another! Ooh. I had my finger off position, I guess, a little bit to my reflex and a little bit more right than I wanted to. But yeah, I guess it is safest to have Mario as far away from the arena as it won't impede the camera, I guess you could say. So, yeah. Anyway... Let's see... Oh, almost, almost a loss there. Because you, you see when it hits the ground once, it, uh, it does the set, I like, it sucks to the ground a lot faster uh, in later valleys than it does in uh, the earlier rounds. So just like bounce, bounce really quick as opposed to bounce, bounce. So yeah, it's like everything is faster, including the landing area. I think you could probably use homing cap attacks too, which would help a little bit if you're doing the throw method. But I, I still think that this is the easier method of the two. Because you're not focused on movement and aim along with, uh, like, the timing of it. You're just moving towards wherever the shadow is, basically. Well, wherever it's gonna land, excuse me. You can basically feel out its rhythm and whatnot, simple enough, and just kinda have at it. Hopefully. 
Just don't give up until you get it. Otherwise, you're gonna be like, oh man, I wish I would 100 just send it the game. I put all my effort into getting all these other moons, and I couldn't do this one. No, you can do this one. It may be annoying. It may make you tear your hair out, but you can do it. You may want to take breaks from it, and which may be, may be a good idea too. But you can indeed do it. Man, 300 volleys. I cannot believe I've got the hang of it this well. So I guess maybe it would be possible for a human to get up to the maximum score if you really, really wanted to. Probably. But I don't know how long it would take you to do that. I mean, look, look how slow it is just to get each individual point here. It's like two, two to like, it's like two seconds or so. Uh, maybe about three seconds per point, and whatever the maximum score is, you know, that it counts for, it would be that times three seconds equals whatever the result is. <laughs> oh, that was almost mario -ed. Mario, even though he's sleeping there, he's he might just be the biggest obstacle that I have here to keeping my volleys going. Whoa, 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 I'm losing it. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm losing it, I don't know. No. But yeah, the, uh... I guess if you stay calm, it's relatively simple, and you also gotta make sure that you're always in control of Cappy. Uh, but, you know, as I said, you gotta understand the acceleration and whatnot of Cappy, so that you don't overshoot or undershoot your movements or something like that. And, oh! So yeah, and there's and since you can always run back into the ball if you overshoot stuff, as opposed to throwing your cap, which may or may not work if you're using the homing attack. <laughs> so yeah, it might be a thing of uh, that you just gotta keep at it with this method, probably for the best results. I don't know. It's it's probably a pers oh personal preference up to a certain point. Uh, because I'm sure that some people might find the acceleration of Cappy to be really awkward, yet they find throwing Cappy to be the easier method, maybe? Like, I find this method to be easier, but maybe someone else will find the other one better. But any I think I'm just kind of repeating myself at this point. This is going on so long. <laughs> oh, 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 shoot, shoot, shoot! Oh. Well, whatever. <laughs> That's my... My best results. Let's go back to one player. <laughs> All right, I will call that a day. <laughs> no, no more, no more. I'm done with this. <laughs> beach volleyball hero of the beach. <sighs> and I still got the purple coins to get, so I'll wander around. I probably shouldn't have done it that long. <laughs> I should have just quit earlier, cause that, it, yeah, it does kind of kind of wear on you after a while. Oh, hello there! Purple coins at the back left corner here. Well, it's more like bottom right according to the map, but this is as far bottom right as you can go here. And... One, two, three... How did I miss these before when I came through here? Because I'm, I'm sure I swam out along this edge at some point, because I'm pretty sure this was the edge that I showed you that you couldn't go past a certain point. Ah, but whatever, I got them now. Coins stack over here. Don't know if I showed this before. If you were looking for the shop, you went paddling away for a swim. I don't know if I showed that dialogue before. Hey. <gasps> oh! Below the windmill! Ah! It's because this is kind of disconnected from everything else in a way. That I missed it because I, I was running through that trench, but I didn't look through in that area. I was going through that trench. Nope, 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 nothing there. But yeah, if you go a little higher there, or just, you know, go jump down from the tippy top of that, you can go ahead and have a heyday with those last purples. 100% completion, except for the shop. So let's go ahead and buy out the shop. Well, purple coin shop. Alright, here we go. I'm not jumping on your head this time. And I'm also going to be wearing this stuff 
as well. So we're going to be a sailor that's not quite the same as a, pi a pirate, but eh, semi-close. <laughs> that is true. Very likely. <laughs> Alright, we are good to go. Sticker. Gotta get those stickers for our basically Art Odyssey type suitcase looking thing. Glass tower model. Definitely gotta be placed inside there for our collecting needs. And finally, the sand jar. That's uh, a self-contained habitat, maybe? I, I don't know. <laughs> and... Word on! Yes! Yes! Beautiful! 100% completion, especially of the volleyball. <laughs> yeah! And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we head off to the Snow Kingdom. <sighs> I bet this outfit won't be too warm over there. 